Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna start off your reading with some oracle messages and then I will get into the tarot. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. Okay, moves in silence. Immediately, I feel like for a lot of you, this is gonna be advice to whatever plans you got, projects you got going on, anything, relationships, move in silence because you got people talking shit here. Uh, we always get that card. We have wolves and sheep's clothing. Um, so yeah, I do feel like you got someone here around you. Wolf and sheep's clothing makes me feel like there's somebody close to you that is talking shit. Somebody that maybe poses as your friend. This could even be a family member for some of you. Yeah, fishing for comments. I feel like this person, for a lot of you, it's a friend. I feel like there's somebody here trying to find something on you, trying to find some dirt on you. I just heard trying to embarrass you legal issues possibly even trying to get you in trouble for some of you you could be dealing with legal issues i'm also getting that if you're dealing with like a case with somebody here i do feel like they're like they're looking for anything they can on you wants you back there's somebody here that wants you back and we have forcer i feel like we got this card the other day um forces things on you forces their right in uses to get what they want or uses force to get what they want um, yeah, so I feel like somebody, again, I just get, keep getting the word aggressive. I feel like somebody here is going to start being more demanding, possibly being more aggressive. We're closing this cycle. This definitely could be somebody that you have closed out a cycle with. But somebody here wants you back. So what are the messages for Aquarius? Okay. We have sex addiction and we have mirroring. So somebody here could be struggling with some sort of addiction, whether this is sex addiction or something else. With this mirroring card, I feel like if this is not you, um, there could be somebody here that you're like really reflecting. Like it's like you're really, I mean, you're really showing this person what they need to heal. But yeah, for some of you, you may have turned your back on a situation. We got bad news. We'll clarify to see what that's about. We have thug. Okay, so somebody definitely could have gotten in trouble here. So that could be the bad news. Maybe somebody's getting arrested. GPS. Ooh. I just heard, like, police tracking. For some of you, there could be, like, eyes on you. Like, maybe the police are watching you. Or somebody wants the police to watch you. We have trap. So, again, there's somebody here that wants to come back and they want to trap you. I just heard pregnancy. Of course, that's not going to be for everyone. But I do feel like there's somebody here that wants to trap you. You're definitely in this self-love energy, just, like, doing you, focusing on yourself, focusing on your finances. In the pre-shuffle, I was getting a strong energy of saving money. A lot of you could be making that a priority at this time. But there's somebody here that just will not let go of you. Crazy ex for some of you. I just got stalker. For some of you, this person could be stalking you with that GPS card. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups. So we have a wish. So there's something good going to be coming in here for you. And I feel like there's a lot of people around. Because you got like fake friends over here talking shit. Possibly family members. You got a crazy ass wanting you back. And I feel like it's because people are seeing your dreams come true. Um, I don't know. Somehow, I just feel like you have a whole new light around you. We got the Ten of Cups. Exactly. I feel like um, things are really going well for you. And I just heard in comparison to this person. So if there's like a... Say you were with somebody for a really long time. Um, this doesn't have to be what's going on, but I'm just kind of getting the vision of maybe you were with somebody for a long time. Everyone knew you guys were together. You got mutual friends. You've built, you know, a life together and then you break up. They see you doing well and they see this person not doing well. So I do feel like there's just a lot of eyes on you right now. Maybe this past person is talking about you. It could even be like a friendship if you've been friends with someone for a long time and you guys just kind of split apart and like everyone knew you guys were like, but there's something about a public eye here. I feel like everyone knew you guys are best friends. You're thriving. They're not. Like, it's just something like that. So we do have the healing card coming out. So a lot of you are very focused on your healing at this time. Pouring into your own cup type of energy. But the nine and ten of cups, I mean, you're getting exactly what you want. Your manifestations are coming in. Your dreams are coming true. I see you being very, regardless of all this bullshit, I don't even see you phased by it. You're like, you know, you're just focused on yourself. Uh, we do have the two of pentacles so there could be options i just heard jobs there could be options when it comes to jobs um some of you could be looking for another job uh, for some of you this is going to be choices in love so we do have the lover's card here with the two of pentacles so there could be a lot of people interested in you right now you could have to make a decision in love we do have abundance coming out here so yeah a lot of you are very focused on your money you're very abundant i feel like a lot of love is coming towards you and it's because you're pouring a lot of love into yourself so we do have the king of pentacles energy here for some of you could be dealing with an earth sign choice for the Capricorn energy. 
I just heard you can trust me. I feel like this person wants you to know that you can trust them or they want to show you, like, prove trust to you. We do have the two of swords. Okay, we see in two, 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 one, two. I'm also seeing nines. Um, but yeah, somebody's at a crossroads here and it could be you and this person. Somebody has a choice in love. It could be you or this person or both. We do have the sun card for some of you. could be dealing with a Leo. I just heard Pisces as well. Strength, Leo again. Um, somebody wants stability with you. And I just keep getting, someone's holding back. Hmm. Something's about to change here though. This person doesn't want to ignore this connection anymore. Five of Pentacles with the Death card. Some of you can deal with Scorpio. You may feel like somebody abandoned this connection here, but I don't feel like they have. Spirit, what is the Nine of Cups? Some of you wish is coming true, the Hermit. So there could be something here to where someone's been real silent. Also with the Hermit, this talks about like spiritual awakening. We do have the um, Hierophant here as well. Somebody is very much so, it's like spiritually elevating. Like someone is in Hermit mode, getting all these downloads. Why is the Hermit here? Some of you don't with a Virgo. But I feel like someone's going to realize something that maybe you've been waiting for this person to realize. Not the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, again, this is wish fulfillment. I feel like for a lot of you also, if you're the one in this hermit energy, um, you're very much so focused on your finances. With that Ten of Pentacles, I see you achieving financial goals. Um, I just heard paying off debt. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be buying property here as well. I just heard family home. So clarifying the Ten of Cups, you have the Three of Wands. Exactly. What you want is coming in. Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment. Also, the Ten of Cups is can talk about completion. Like tens are completion. So I do feel like you've completed something. And I just want to say spiritual lesson is kind of what I to say. I feel like you have... You've leveled up in some sort of way here. Spirit, what is the healing card here for Aquarius? Yeah, you're just, your focus is healing yourself and you're doing it quickly. With this Knight of Swords, you're moving forward fast. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? And people see it as well. We have the Page of Cups. Somebody is debating on if they can come forward. We do have the Two of Pentacles here as well on the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to come forward. They want to, like, they want to send some sort of message to you. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. Somebody wants to say something to you. And it's like good news. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, strong Earth Energy in this reading. There is an Earth Sign that wants to come forward. Why is the Lover's card here? But this Lover's, this person has very strong feelings for you. But there is something about this person coming forward. And if you look at her, it just kind of looks like she's surrendering. She's surrendering this pentacle. She's like, okay, here. And I feel like you're you're sitting here with your bags of money. I'm telling you, there's something about saving money this month. Something about attracting money this month. Like with this abundance card, I mean, it's just going to be so easy for money for you to come in. It's going to be flowing left and right. Um, business opportunities, things like that. Um, so with this seven of pentacles, I feel like you've just, you've literally been waiting. You've been waiting on this person. And you're here with all your pentacles. We all know. I definitely feel like somebody's going to come forward this month. And you're just like, about time. Like, it feels like something like that. Let's see. Why is the abundance card here for Aquarius? Yes, the Empress. Definitely in your abundant energy. And your Emperor and your Empress energy. Money, like I said, money is flowing to you easily and effortlessly. Literally. And I feel like it's because you're dedicated to your healing, to your finances, to making better decisions. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Magician. Yeah, this person's manifesting you. And I feel like, um, and vice versa, with this Six of Cups, Six of Wands, I mean, you could be seeing sixes or nines. Somebody wants success with you. So I feel like somebody could see themselves marrying you. The Six of Wands, it kind of looks like they're just married or something or they're celebrating something. <laughs> So even more on that magician. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, we have the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands. This person, I feel like they want to like communicate to you that they're dedicated to this connection. Like there's something about this. And even though somebody here could have choices in love, they're still trying to manifest to you. It, it, again, with the spiritual um, awakening with that. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They want to tell you that they're dedicated to you. Ace of Pentacles. I mean, they want to offer it all to you. Again, she's surrendering this pinnacle. And I feel like I want to say surrendering to this connection as well. I do feel like this person may have fought really hard to, like, ignore this to, to something here. 
that they're surrendering to it. Why is the Two of Swords? Somebody makes a decision. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Um, I mean, this person knows that they love you. If somebody could be dealing with a Cancer. Maybe more on that Two of Swords. I mean, this person's following their heart. I feel like this person, they've decided to follow their heart. And I do feel like whatever it is that they have been using to distract themselves from really moving forward, they're walking away from whatever that is. I am noticing the red. Somebody, um, the color red could be significant here. Why is the strength card energy here? I just heard patience. For a lot of you, you've been very patient with this. And I don't even necessarily feel like it's that you're waiting on this person. It's just that you're just not going to put energy into it until this person puts energy into it. Like, I just feel like you've you've kind of let it go in a sense. Like, okay, it is what it is. If it's supposed to come, it will. If not, whatever. And I do feel like with this judgment card, that was the right decision. Focusing on your own stability here uh, was the right decision. I do feel like that's exactly why you're attracting this in. So what are the messages for Aquarius? These are going to be love messages for you guys. Tired of the drama. Okay. Somebody here could be tired of some drama. Again, I do want to... I want to figure out more on what that bad news energy is. I do feel like somebody could be getting arrested here. Of course, I won't be for everyone. Everybody loves you. It could be somebody that's very popular. This person sees you as very popular. Planning to ask you out. So this person's already planning to come forward towards you. Daddy issues. Okay, and that could be where this kind of stems from. I do feel like somebody here, they could do a lot for attention or a lot for like affection here. I do feel like this is something that this person, they're in hermit mode about their healing. Uh, whether this is you or this person, I do feel like that's something that is being healed as well. Um, I'm done pretending. Yeah, and I feel like this person, like, they can have some real toxic, like, habits. Like, especially when it comes like, to the it void connections. And, of course, sex addiction came out. Like, I just heard stalking. Like, I feel like this person is healing some serious shit. And that could be why... You know, I feel like this is something that you're mirroring to them, though. This is something that you are um, showing that they need to heal if they want genuine connection or they want to, you know, move forward just in general. How do you know me so well? So this person feels like you see right through them is what I'm hearing. They want to know how you know them so well. I do feel like for a lot of you, you could have experienced similar things to this person. That could be why you came into their life to kind of uh, help them move forward. See, what is this bad news card? Five of Wands. Yeah, somebody could have gotten a big fight. Ooh, I just heard it may have resulted in like someone getting seriously injured here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some sort of big fight. And you're going to get the call for some reason. Maybe someone you know is involved. Maybe you're involved for some of you. The Ten of Wands. Hmm. It could be a family member. For some of you, you may, you may find out a family member got into some legal trouble here. So yeah, there's going to be some sort of call, some sort of bad news that comes in. Or maybe for some of you, it already has. Spirit, what are the zodiac signs for Aquarius? We have Taurus. Virgo. I was getting heavy earth in this reading, so for some of you definitely could be done with a fire sign. We got or an earth sign. We got Leo. Sagittarius. Capricorn. One more. And Cancer. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.